What's going on everybody? Blake and Jeff here. I'm Blake, he's Jeff, and today we are continuing our Code Geass reaction series with episode 10, Gurin Dances. Dances? Is this going to be a dancing episode? Gurin Dances? Gurin Dance? I don't know how Gurin. to pronounce that. Gurin? I guess. I don't know. You guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, episode 9, last time we got introduced to the drug refrain. We did. We got backstory on Colin. Yeah, Colin and her mother. Yeah. Uh, and how much of a bitch she was to her mother. Yeah, kind of a bitch. <laughs> kind of a bitch. Uh, we also got introduced to the idea of California hot dogs. Still don't <laughs> understand it, but... I love it. It kind of makes me want one. Pizza, California hot dogs. What else are we going to get in this I series? don't know, but I'm very excited. Yeah. We need some sort of a dessert item. Yes. Yeah, we need like a Krispy Kreme donuts or something in there. Duncan. Uh, okay, I'll yeah. take Duncan. I'll take it. Uh, what else did we happen? What else did we happen? What else did we happen? What else happened in episode nine? Uh, I think that was all. No. Um, oh, Cornelia is handing over Area 11 to... To Yuffie. Yuffie, uh, after they've handled the refrain situation and... and the rebellion. The terrorists. Yes. Um... Yeah, pretty Colin heavy episode. I would it say. was, but that was good. We yeah. needed some backstory on her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, before we start this episode, guys, as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, like our videos, and leave a comment on any of our videos if you want to recommend uh, an anime, movie, TV show, whatever for us to watch. Uh, or you can tweet at us at Blake and Jeff. You can also check out our Twitter for our schedule, or go to our website blakeandjeff.com. We have the schedule up there. It'll show you. When the episodes are dropping and what movies are dropping yes. each week. Exactly. Uh, so check that out. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Those guys from Kyoto, they believe in us. They sent us this. A completely made Japanese nightmare. A Gurren Mark II. We're under enemy attack. Yes, sir. The Britannian forces have completely encircled the Narita Mountains. We've counted over 100 units. Since you've joined the Black Knights, you have only two choices. You may either live with me or you may perish with me. Cornelia is here! Is there no one who will challenge me? Right! All preparations have now been completed! Black Knight, prepare to move out! Activating Gauntlet now! It worked! Impossible. How could a landslide come out of nowhere? Alex and Dalton's units are getting wiped out! It's even more destructive than I anticipated. We did succeed in isolating Cornelia's unit, but we could have been a bit more accurate. Sorry. Auto eject! Don't you dare activate! I can still get Zero! I know it! I know I can still get him! I won't lose. Not with this. Gurren Mark II. She defeated Lord Jeremiah. All our tasks at hand have been cleared. The pieces are in position. The only thing left to do is check my opponent's stronghold. Code Geass episode 10 in the books. Jeff, what did you think? Oh, that was good. Yeah. Um, obviously setting up the rest of the battle for the next episode, I'd assume. Yeah. The purpose of kidnapping Cornelia. Yes. That is that is his goal, is to, to take her. Mm -hmm. um, I'd imagine for the Black Knights, they think it's strategic. For him, it's because he wants information. Of course. So He's going to geos her. Get some info, and then possibly have her do something. Maybe. Either kill herself or do something for him. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, possibilities are endless. Endless possibilities. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got the Gurren Mark II, which is the new... Yeah. All Japanese made. Yeah. Uh, um, has a gauntlet. Yeah, so the power... I'm, I'm not understanding the power. Was it just like... I mean, is it just, like, pumping obscene amounts of, like, energy? 
That's what it seems so, like. So like when she did it underground and it went into like the the water underneath, it like superheated it. Yeah. And then created a volcanic kind of thing that created a landslide. And then there, like she just basically like was like getting all I don't know. Yeah. Like, like poofed up like, like poofed a, up. Like a balloon. Yeah. But then his fucking nose was bleeding. Yeah, his bleeding and shit. It was getting all deformed like his eyes were going to yeah. explode. Yeah, like I, I think it would have like melted him or something if, yeah. if he'd stayed in there. Hmm. Um, but in so his, it's more like a microwave then. Yeah, sort of, maybe. Because it would be like pump, it would microwave the water underneath, right, like right, super right. microwave. Same thing with the, with inside the thing. Yeah, it yeah. would puff out the... Maybe. Kind of like when you microwave a bag of popcorn yeah. and it expands. Yeah. Sure. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's yeah. a powerful weapon. It's effective. And he said... That the suit itself was very fast, mm-hmm. so it seems like it'll probably be a match for the Lancelot. Yeah, you know, like they they each have one of their special nightmares. Now, um, the JLF don't seem to be very good at their job. No, they don't seem like they're very organized or action oriented. Yeah, they seem very like lazy, <laughs> unwilling to make a move. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's interesting. Um, they're just up there in the cabin playing go. Yeah, exactly. They're just like, yeah, nobody can sneak up here. Man, um, we got Jeremiah got called his little nickname again, Orange Boy. Orange Boy. Yeah, that seemed to piss him off. It did piss him off, and his like bloodlust for zero. Yeah. Caused him to just leave his post and just head straight for him. Almost caused him to die. Yeah. Because he refused to eject. Because he refused to eject. The auto eject saved his life. I like the idea that, like, we're going to have this this rivalry, this hatred for a while. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Very interesting. The JLF does have Toto and his, like, little band of warriors who are bringing... Yeah, swords. Yeah, and the swords. The four swords. And uh, what are they referring to there? I don't remember what it was It sort of like a bee. Yeah, something. I didn't write it down. The bur- burgers? The burgers? They're bringing their burgers. <laughs> They're bringing burgers. <laughs> Can't wait for that. The burst bursers? No. I don't know. That's someone who handles money at a college. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Um, they're bringing something. But they're bringing something that will not necessarily turn the tide of the war, but I think will will allow the, the JLF to stay in this fight. Yeah. Right? Which they desperately need to. They, Of course. They're, they're useless. They're useless cowards right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that will probably show up in the next episode, right as the battle is really going again. Yep. So that we get uh, not just two sides, we get that third side coming in. And we'll probably get in the next episode, uh, Lelouch slash Zero will have cemented himself as a uh, sort of a miracle worker. Well, he said they needed a miracle. Yeah. Um, then he tested his, the uh, yeah tested the allegiance of his followers. Hey, you know if you're gonna if you're gonna spout shit yeah. like I should be in charge. He gave you a shot. You chose not to take it. Put your money where your mouth is. The moment was too big for you. Yep. So I think I would. I think I would have done it. Would you have tried? <laughs> would you have just taken and shot him? Yeah, I would have tried. Let me ask you this: Do you think Zero would have really let you shoot him, or no. do you think as soon as you grab that gun, he's gonna geos you? Oh yeah, he would have geos me to shoot yourself in the head. Yeah. All right. And then he would have said some, made some grand speech about how nobody can. Nobody can kill the Great Zero. Yeah. Yeah. But I would have tried. Well. Because otherwise, I mean, now you're, humili- you're humiliated. Your, we you're, know that there's a power involved. Right. They just think he's some brilliant tactician. Yeah. But now now that guy will never be taken seriously ever again. That's true. You, you, that was like, your shot. Yeah, everybody would be like, well, remember you wasted that, it. Remember the time you stood up to Zero and then you pushed out? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be that guy. I mean, he might as well just leave. At this point, yeah, he might as well yeah, kill himself. Just, just leave, dude. Yeah. But, hmm. Okay. 
Interesting. All right, well, good app. Uh, yeah. Excited to see the resolution of this little uh, battle. Yep. See if Cornelia gets kidnapped. Hopefully she will. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, again, it might just be a an attempt. Yeah. You know? It feels like it might be too easy if she's kidnapped. Yeah, but there's there's... I have to imagine there's still a lot of people left, right? Oh, I mean, I'm sure. We still have to make our way through a bunch of yeah, yeah, yeah. other princes and princesses. Yeah, I mean, we're, and... we're kill Bill in this, this list here, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, guys, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, like our videos, leave a comment, tweet at us, at Blake and Jeff, and uh, we'll see you next time.